This is Fox 2 News and St. Louis 11 News, the power of two at 6 a.m. Hard to call it peaceful protests when there are calls for violence and everyone's chanting along. Pro-Palestinian protests like the one at Wash U are sparking more debate and demonstrations in the St. Louis area. We're going to let you know about the protest plan today at St. Louis University. Plus, protests on the UCLA campus turn violent as pro-Palestinian and pro-Israeli groups clash overnight. The steps police and university officials are taking right now. Two people are dead after more deadly shootings in the city of St. Louis. Where those two investigations stand as of this morning. As we welcome you back on this Wednesday, it's May 1st, and you are watching The Power of Two at 6 a.m. I'm John Pertzborn. I'm Blair Lede. Good morning to you all. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to take a live look now at our roof camera. Beautiful looking skies out there. It feels nice, too. We're going to check in with meteorologist Angela Huddy on the Lakeside Renovation and Design Weather Deck. Not bad out here this morning. Haven't need to put the jacket on. If you're someone who gets an early morning chill, though, and nice jacket, light sweater might be a good thing to throw on as temperatures have dipped into the low 60s in some spots. But men have trouble getting the kiddos to put those on. Maybe you can, but they probably won't need it. We're in the low to mid 60s for that money morning bus stop. Skies are mostly cloudy, but our spot rain showers that we've had overnight have all but fallen apart. The last couple of sprinkles out there into Clinton County in Illinois right now. So fairly dry, and I think the afternoon bus ride, 3, 4 o'clock time frame may still be dry. But beyond that, if you have evening practices or just get home from work later on today, could be some thunderstorms that pop into the evening time frame. We'll show you that with Futurecast. Talk about more storm chances for Thursday night and Friday coming up in just a couple of minutes. Taking 44 into South County this morning, let's talk about what's unfolding right between 100 and 141. We've got a pretty serious crash scene in your eastbound direction. This is just past Antire. So there's your vehicle and there is your line of emergency vehicles just behind it. I've watched uh, them continue to flood this area of 44 East. Let's go ahead, slow down and move over if you're heading into South County. Here's the good news. Right before you hit 141, our morning road work going to wrap up right now at the 6 a.m. hour. Going to make things a whole lot easier as you head towards your 270 interchange. Speeds look good moving over the Merrimack and that's going to continue as you make your way through Webster Groves. Well, it was already a violent week, and then overnight came in St. Louis City. It worsened two more murders, and this morning one person is in custody. Now, the Power of Two's Chris Frenier is live in uh, downtown at police headquarters where he's been talking to authorities. Chris? Blair, good morning to you. John, good morning to you as well. These latest two homicides in the city of St. Louis, both happening in North St. Louis, but different areas of that part of the city. They were about three hours apart, these latest two murders. One of them was an inside scene, the other taking place outside. This morning, police are still searching for at least one killer. 